Many Christians today do not have the depth of understanding of who God is and cannot go into the deeper and mature state in Christ because we allow ourselves to be ruled by the flesh. Many misunderstand that God will let them stay in their carnal state, being in the flesh. However, the power of the Holy Spirit is that it frees us from the flesh. When we are waiting for the hope of righteousness through faith in Jesus Christ, the Spirit of Jesus who is in, the, in us make us into a new self every day, daily. We are called to kill the things of the flesh through the power of Spirit daily. Nothing can break the power of flesh within us but except the Spirit of Christ. The one of the reasons why the church lost the power today is because the church is allowing themselves to be ruled by the flesh and not walk not walking according to the power of the spirit we say the head is christ and the body is the church however we're not allowing the head to be head but we're coming into another another authority which is ourselves if we truly desire to be if we truly desire jesus to be our head we must, be, we must ask the Lord to fill us with the Holy Spirit because nobody can know the mind of Christ unless you have the Spirit of Christ in you. No matter how much you study, no matter how much you try to gain your knowledge on theology, if your life is under the subjection of the flesh and not the Spirit, you will never reach the fullness and depth of Jesus Christ. Paul rebukes the church of Corinthians, but I, brothers, could not address you as spiritual people, but as people of the flesh, as infants in Christ. Church of Corinthians had spiritual gifts. We have to recognize, even if you have spiritual gifts, no matter what kind they are, still, you can be infants in Christ Jesus. We who have been saved by grace must grow in stages However, we can still be infants, not allowing the Spirit to break us. I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you were re not ready for it, and even now you are not yet ready, for you are still of the flesh. For while there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving only in a human way? There are hard and solid messages that can be only understood by people who are really denying themselves every day and bearing their cross and walking in the way of Christ. But when we are compromising the flesh and sin, we can only have the milk, not the solid food, the deeper messages of Christ. We are of the flesh when there is jealousy and strife, the, the fruits of the flesh, the conducts of the flesh. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other, to keep you from doing things you want to do. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. If we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. When we first come back um, to Christ, because there are, we are residing in flesh, there might be old, old habits of sin. But as you walk with Christ time to time, you will be more sanctified. You will be more free from things that have been binding you. However, if you are not seeing the growth, even after two, three years, even after four or five years, you may have to look back and see if you are really, really seeking Christ and in growing in Him. I have learned when you love something, no matter what obstacles there are, you, f you start to follow the something that you love. When we first come to Christ, there is this first love. And when we love Christ, no matter how weak we are, through the power of the Spirit, we start to follow things of God, not the earthly things. The love of the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life are opposite from the love of the Father. 
And so when we love God, we pursue God just naturally. But when you are in a lukewarm state, you will naturally start to compromise things in your life and then end up losing your faith or either being in this carnal state that is hard to recover. Then how can we live a life that has been ruled by the Spirit of Christ? Is that even possible? The first is that we recognize and be convicted that we are being ruled by the flesh. It is simple as this. It is admitting before the Lord, Lord, I am being ruled by the flesh, and I cannot do it by my own power. You cannot seek something unless you recognize that you do not have it. A lot of times in the Bible, the Lord tells us to seek and ask the wisdom, uh, the Spirit of Christ, the things that we do not have, the heavenly things, the things that are of Him. He knows that we need it. So the good news is that when you recognize when you recognize the need that you need the life being filled with the Spirit of Christ, you will start to seek it and you will be satisfied. For the Lord said, those who are hungry and thirsty after righteousness shall be satisfied. We must have this repentant heart before the Lord that God, I do not have this life. There is jealousy, selfish ambition, things of the flesh in me. I am not being ruled by the flesh, Lord, but I go before you and I confess it before you convicted. Recognizing and admitting that we will live under the power of the flesh without the power of the Holy Spirit increases the dependency on His Spirit and our hunger and thirst and our desperation for our Lord Jesus Christ. And the second step is to believe. I have realized that faith is a strong key in the kingdom of God. Believe that God is willing to do it in you, to live a life that has been ruled by the Spirit of Christ and believe that the Spirit will give you a power to live a life in accordance with Christ. When you have failed of your own works, now rely on the Spirit of Jesus and believe that it will work in you and through you and will change you and renew you. Hold on to the promised verses of the Bible. How can you increase your faith? Faith comes from the hearing the Word of God. So open your word and read it and soak yourself in it. Study yourself in the word of God. The word of God will change you because it's the truth. And it, and it will increase your faith for you to go before the Lord. One of my favorite verses in Bible is Hebrews 11, 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please him for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. I believe, I believe God rewards me when I seek Him. And whenever I trusted this promise first, whenever I trusted His word, He never, never failed. Because God is truth and His word is truth, whenever we hold on to the promise and go before God, God never, never fails. Never, never fails. Also, we have to be willing to lay down our everything to live a life that is being ruled by the Spirit. When you lay things down in your life for the Lord, God multiplies it back to you in a double portion, much greater with the things of Himself, with heavenly things. Many neglect uh, time seeking in Christ. But when you spend time with Christ, from there the source of intimate relationship with Christ comes out. And when you are spending time with the Lord, there is something in the world that will keep you and protect you to walk in the human conduct but to be imitators of Jesus Christ. We are not called to be like the world or walk as a human way as of the world. Jealousy, strife, lust, no. But we are called to be imitators of Christ. But this comes from the power of the Spirit and intimacy with Jesus Christ, deeply being deeply in love with Him. So let us recognize that with our own power we cannot do this. Let us confess it before the Lord, repent before the Lord, and believe, believe in 
Jesus Christ who will do it in us. When you, rise, when you fall down, rise up again and believe in Jesus Christ who will do it in you and go to the throne of grace boldly and seek his face. Trust in him. Whenever I fail, I fall, but I rise up again and believe that Jesus will do it in me. And whenever I trust in him, he always did it. If there are things that we have to lay down, let us lay it down and give it to the Lord, for he will give it back to us with things of himself in much greater portion. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Heavenly Father, we do not want to be infants in Christ, but we want to be mature. We want to be spiritual people, O oh God, that walks in your calling. God, may you protect us and deliver us from all kind of lukewarmness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.